Hello guys, how are you? My name is Matos Domingos and this is another very special video for my YouTube channel, The Brazilian Around the World. So I have the pleasure today to show you New Northern Horizon, Novo Horizonte do Norte, this little town in the countryside of Mato Grosso. So this little town has about almost 4,000 people living here. It's really small, but it's really interesting to visit. So let's see what they offer for us. All right, guys, so the first tour here in New Northern Horizon is inside the church. This is the parish, St. Peter. So St. Peter Parish here in New Northern Horizon, Novo Horizonte do Norte. It's pretty beautiful, man. <laughs> guys so here we go we are here at northern uh, new horizon this is the mayor silvano pereira right certo <laughs> e aí silvano tudo bem ah, então ele trouxe para vocês conhecerem uh, o prefeito aqui da cidade é isso vamos fazer um trabalho muito bonito tanto em português quanto em inglês espero que o senhor goste bastante a gente vai conversando tá bom muito obrigado hein valeu até mais Welcome to this small and hospitable town of Novo Horizonte do Norte, translated into English as New Northern Horizon. This little town in the countryside of Mato Grosso is 36 years old and has an estimated population of 4,000 people. And it was emancipated in May 13, 1986. The history of this little town is pretty amazing. The origin of Novo Horizonte do Norte, New Northern Horizon, resides at Imobiliária Mato Grosso Limitada, Mato Grosso Real Estate, Imagrol, by José Cara José. The first citizen to arrive in Novo Horizonte was Sebastião Martins, a Brazilian jaguar hunter, shortly before the town was colonized. On August 21st, 1968, Imagrol began the colonization installing a land sales office in Maringá, Northern Paraná State. From there came most of the pioneer families. José Cara José limited himself to selling the plots of land, allocating a part to public patrimony, and naming the place New Horizon, okay, Novo Horizonte. The settlers would have to progress on their own. There were no means of transport, communication, and no doctors. To buy food, families headed to Porto dos Gaúchos, where they got supplies. In the rainy season, the Mestre Falcão River was flooded and the crossing had to be by boat. In solidarity with the suffering of the settlers without support from the farm, the parish priest of Porto dos Gaúchos, Father Gunter, moved to Novo Horizonte. The priest made himself available to the sick and helped with the work using the parish vehicle. The cooperation between the resident of the nucleus and the settlers and he was responsible for the development of the locality. here in Juara. I'm here with my cousin Aguinaldo and in the back there are two other friends that are going with us. So let's see this horse competition. Let's see how it goes and, and you know the drill. If you like my content, subscribe, share with your friends and so smash the, the like for us because that's going to help me a lot. All right, see you guys. <laughs>
visit a river, a big one, it's the Arenos River and they have a resort, a Brazilian kind of resort. I'm very excited to visit this place, so anyways, so let's go. finally arrived here at this river resort so it's very rustic so it's not like uh, you know posh place but it's it looks really nice É isso aí, pessoal. Cheguei aqui no Balneário. Qual que é o nome do Balneário aqui? Portal, Portal Horizonte. Portal Horizonte. Qual é o nome da senhora? A Vera Domiati. Então vamos lá, vamos mostrar todo mundo aqui. Qual é o seu nome? Margarida. Margarida, você também é pioneira aqui, então. E você, qual é o seu nome? Deu C Dias. Só Deu C Dias. Tá? Que peixe é esse aí que você tá limpando? Esse aqui é o tambaqui. Ah, o tambaqui. Qual é o seu nome? É Manuel Domingos de Góis. Então vamos lá, vamos dar uma olhada lá nos peixinhos. Então esses aqui são os tanques de vocês aí. Será que eu não vou cair aqui não? Ah, então beleza. Olha aí, galera. So they have kiosks here, so people they can rent. Oh, they have like a little church. Do not destroy in few hours something that the nature took like decades to build. So there's like a bee family living inside this tree. <laughs> I have you. That's enough to paint lonesome black and blue. Vai, Pedro, pula aí. <risos> That puts a bow up in the sky, tells the rain to cease. We've had up, we've had down, we've had warm nights, we've gone round and round. What I know, this much is true, there ain't a color in the rain. It looks like a snake going around the tree. Wow, look, and it goes up. So let's carve our names into this tree. Then lay beneath the beauty of her leaves. Will the birds in the She's saying that in 30 days, the water is gonna be shallower. They have like a little beach here, so people, they enjoy themselves, they sit and enjoy the view of the Arenos River. We've had warm nights, what I know, this much is true, there ain't a tree with any leaf, that roots me like What's up? So yeah, I have found a very nice family here. Well, and one of them is from Cuiabá. So they're really nice people. So they're enjoying playing cards here. I'm gonna show you. <laughs> they're over there. Paulo. João Moraes. João Moraes. Paulo. Bato da cova, tá com a Claudia. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
he he said that he's from Tangarada Serra, the armpit of Sucuri, because Sucuri stinks. You know, Sucuri is the Brazilian anaconda, as you guys probably know. So let's carry on. Let's carry on with the recording and show you more about this place here. All right, take care. This is the best time of the day for me, of course. And this is something interesting. So when, when I travel to places like this, I always find nice people with such a hospitality. They try their best, you know, to make us feel at home. I'm gonna have a delicious meal now. So fried fish, salad, beer. Ooh, looks really delicious. <laughs> Wow, it's so nice. Let's dig in. <laughs> hey guys, so it's time now. We're gonna go in this little boat with my friends here. So <laughs> let's see. Let's check the Arenas River. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be nice to see this big river inside of a little boat. Okay, let's go. Vamos lá, Manuel. Let's go. Let's bora. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so this is my vest. So let's put it on. So to go in the river, you need to wear the vest on. Oh so yeah, this is going to be a nice adventure. <laughs> Manuel, Pedro and me, we're gonna go in this beautiful river, Arinos River. So let's check it out. to see this floating home look at this this is really nice and interesting Shapa house This is it guys, so we have finished the tour here at the Arenos River. So I wanna thank again, Manuel. Quero agradecer de novo aqui você em inglês, so I wanna thank this guy here. He's the man, ele é o cara. <laughs> so now, that's my favorite time of the day. It's beer time, so it's time to talk to some people here. <laughs> 